Go ahead. Yes. Now for my second question, what inspired you to make cartoon voices? I'm gonna get my wallet out. <laughs> um, as an actor, you don't limit yourself. You do whatever you can do to make a living. And uh, I had been doing a lot of on camera and got to a certain point in my career, I was under contract to Universal Studios and playing the same roles over and over and over again. Thrilled to be under contract, obviously, having studied for stage, now finally having a studio say, yeah, we're gonna pay you to work on our shows. But the same shows, every single time I was the same kind of character. They, only, they just changed the blood to prevent botulism. I was just the same character. And then suddenly, a lady I was dating at the time said, why don't you get into voiceover? And I knew nothing about it. She said, you do all these characters, you're always playing, you're always with these wonderful dialects and stuff. Come with me on a session. And I went on a session with her. And uh, her name was Joni Gerber. She was one of the tops in the business. And Joni took me in a session with Mel Blanc. And I went, whoa. I'm meeting Mel Blanc. Whoa. I grew up with him, and I'm in the room with him. And Noel Blanc, his, his son, is doing, directing the thing. I said, this is what I want to do. I want to do the on-camera stuff, but I'm not going to do what I want to do on camera. I can do it in terms of VO, dialects and characters, and have a wonderful time. And uh, the next time I was playing with ne Noel and joking around, and he said, you, you know, wow, that's really good. And the next thing I go in for, I'm doing a thing with Mel Blanc. I'm doing a, a cartoon thing with Mel Blanc, and I cannot believe I'm with Mel Blanc. And then he said to Mel, okay, Dad, I want you to do this character, and he tells him, and Mel is not doing what he wants. No, no, Dad, I want the character to sound like this, and he tells him, and Mel doesn't, is not getting it. And he said, do you want to try it, Mike? And I'm embarrassed to hell, because Mel to me, come on. And I said, yeah, I, I'll try it. Do you mind, Mel? Mel says, no, go, go with it, go with it. Son, please, go. And I said, okay, and I did. And he said, that's the character I want, which was an East Indian character, and I wound up doing it. And then began to work on from there and then got animation and more animation and more animation. So that's how that came about. And that was, that's my living. I mean, a lot of, you know, guys have seen me on camera, but that's n not the living for me. The living has been voiceover and, uh, and that's, that's how I moved into that direction. And almost every actor that I have that calls me that wants to study animation, a lot of them are very, very well known, want to do voiceover.